everyone, I thought that I would do a week-long vlog this week because I am currently on a week off from uni, it's a reading week so we do still have to do uni work but it's kind of like to catch up on reading and I don't really need to catch up, I just need to keep up. <laughs> Today it's currently Monday the 12th, had to think about that then. <laughs> And I'm currently about to go shopping for art supplies because I have become really motivated to make my bullet journal more of an art project. I found a few people that I've been really inspired by lately which I'm not going to talk about here because I'll save it for the voiceover that I do in the video. But yeah, it's kind of just inspired me to make my bullet journal more of an art project because that is part of the reason why I do bullet journaling. I did used to love art and then I kind of fell out of love with it and it's kind of my way of picking it back up again. Trying to find shops that are big enough to have enough of a selection of art supplies to choose from isn't always great, but I can think of a few shops in the city centre that I could visit, so I'm going to go to them, see what I can find, and if I'm successful then I will do a haul later on. If not, then we'll forget this ever happened. <laughs> But yes, once I'm back, I do plan on sorting out Christmas presents. Oof, I know, we're thinking about Christmas now. I kind of feel even more excited this year because I'm kind of sorted. Like, I know what I'm getting people and it's always, when it comes to present buying, I absolutely love buying presents for people. But at the same time, it really stresses me out if I don't know what to get them. So it does tend to make me really stressed because I really want to like nail my gift buying, but then if I feel like I'm not, then it kind of not upsets me, but I don't like that feeling. I'm excited because it's literally just a matter of buying them. So I'm going to start that today. But yeah, as of right now, I'm going to don my boots and coat and go art shopping. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> so I'm back from my trip into town and I have got one hell of a stationery haul slash art supplies haul and I'm trying not to feel bad about spending money on myself because I always have this weird guilt about that but I also got a lot of things on a good deal and I've also like used the money that I've saved over the past two weeks to like fund this instead because I don't like buy art supplies that often and when I'm feeling motivated I want that love for my art back so I decided that I'd go for it even if I do feel a smidgen bad about spending money on myself but whatever that's just a thing I have apparently. Anyway that was quite a ramble. Before I get into the stationery haul I actually just got some surprise book mail because the postman has just been and I got this little book from Bloomsbury. It's called Fox 8 by George Saunders and it came with this little fox corner bookmark and also some matching stickers as well. And this is just a tiny little book which is illustrated and I've never heard of this before but it looks quite interesting because it says on the inside Fox 8 has always been curious and a bit of a daydreamer and by hiding outside houses at dusk and listening to children's bedtime stories he has learned to speak human. The power of words and the stories built from them is intoxicating for a fox with a poetic soul but there is danger on the horizon. A new shopping mall is being built cutting off his pack's food supply. To save himself and his fellow foxes Fox 8 will have to set out on a harrowing quest for, from the wilds of nature deep into the dark heart of suburbia. So this kind of sounds like one of those stories where it's like nature versus industrialization and it reminds me of the Iceland advert. Basically in England, Iceland, which is a food supermarket, brought out a Christmas advert which was banned from TV for being too political. Now this advert was basically a cartoon animation of a little girl who finds an orangutan in her bedroom and she asks the orangutan why she's there and he tells the story of how his rainforest is being destroyed by humans. So this advert was taken off TV for being too political and there's this huge pledge or plea or just something going on to try and get it back on TV and I'll leave a link to the video of the advert down below because I actually retweeted it so I'll be able to find it easy enough. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that because it's the same story of nature versus industrialization or business or 
you know, that kind of story. So I feel like this one could be quite interesting. And again, it's quite a short story with illustrations and whatnot. So I feel like it could be quite an important little book. And it's also just stunning. Like, I absolutely adore the colours of like black and reds, all the autumnal colours and it's also mustard yellow underneath which is always a bonus. <laughs> so yeah, thank you Bloomsbury. I wasn't expecting this, it's a lovely little surprise. So moving on to the stationery slash art haul. I'll start off with the works because that is probably the most like boring. But the first thing that I picked up from the works was a watercolour pad because I've basically seen in other people's bullet journal videos if they want to create sort of watercolour pictures for their title spreads they tend to use watercolour paper and paint it on that, cut it out and then stick it into their bullet journals so I want to try doing that because using watercolours in, a bu in my bullet journal at least the pages get quite crinkly which is fine but I also don't want to make it go through the page at all so I figured this could be a good alternative. I did want to find some which were A5 size because they would fit perfectly into my bullet journal but I couldn't so I've got this A4 pad I think it is and I'll just be able to cut the pages in half or down to size and this has 16 sheets in it for £2 but like I said if I'm cutting it in half that will double the amount of paper that I use. Well it won't, it'll double the amount of uses I get out of it. And then the other thing that I got from the works is literally just a plastic paint palette. The next shop that I went into was at Ryman and again I'm just going to start off with the more boring things. The first thing being glue sticks because I've been using PVA glue for ages and been meaning to pick up normal print stick glue. <laughs> For the longest time, I've said it in so many of my bullet journal videos, so I finally got some guys. I finally got some. Also, just a plain ruler. The 15cm ruler that I keep in my pencil case for university. It has like a weird dent in it where it's cracked and every time I go to draw a straight line, it's just like got a dent in it. And it's been annoying the hell out of me for so long now and I just keep forgetting to pick up a ruler, so I've finally done that today. I also picked up a Ryman hole punch with an adjustable paper guide. <laughs> My hole punch has been broke for ages and I've just not replaced it yet. Apparently today has been the day where I get all the stationery that I've been meaning to get for ages. But moving on to more interesting things, I got the watercolour paint that I went for. Oh, I'm so happy that I've got these. These are by the brand De La Rowney, I think it says. I decided just to get the 12 pack because they did have a larger one for like 24 different colours but I just mix my own colours as I go so I figured I'd just be able to make my own colours out of these ones. I also picked up these clear plastic tubs. I basically just got these because I want to reorganise one of the drawers underneath my wardrobe because I have a lot of art supplies under there but kind of just in a mess of notebooks and things so I want to organise that in a bit. I basically bought these because I want to keep my paints in these so I'll be taking these out of the packet and putting them on one of these. And then the other one is for my acrylic paints that I've got. Because I've been keeping my paints in like their original boxes for ages and it's just really cumbersome, it's not like a convenient way of storing them at all. I also picked up some washi tape which I don't usually do like pick up single rolls of it but this one I just absolutely adore and I can see myself using so much. But there's print on it you can't really see it properly through with the packaging but it's just this floral and leaf print which if you know me you know how much I love my nature and then the last thing that I picked up from Ryman again I'm quite excited about because in other people's bullet journal videos I've noticed that one of the things I love seeing the most is when people use brush pens for their titles this one the Tom Bourgeois brush pen is one that always comes up as like their go-to supply for brush lettering. So I decided to get myself one. I don't know if I'll be able to use it, I have never used a brush pen in my life but it's time to try. <laughs> and then we move on to Paper Chase and while we're talking about pens I also picked up this other pack of brush pens which have six different colours in. The colours that I tend to use are like reds and browns, the more autumnal colours and I also use blue every so often in my travel journal because when you take land landscape photos you tend to have the sky in it and the sea or wherever you happen to be there tends to be blue somewhere in it so that sometimes ends up being my theme as well so I saw this pack of them and I was like they are literally all colours that I use while we're talking about pens I also got 
three of the uniball pens because these were on three for two so I actually went in for a gold and silver one to add in sort of smaller details to my drawings but then when I got to the till they actually said that it was three for two and because I've been loving my white one I decided to pick up that one for free. The last couple of things are a bit more random. The first one is just this bag of paper clips in a nice rose gold colour because I do have a travel journal. You probably don't know this because I haven't shown it anywhere but I do have a travel journal. There's not much in it so far but when I want to add quite a few photos that I've printed out to that spread I either create a small pocket in the page or I clip them in with paper clips. And then again the last thing that I picked up is pretty random but it is this little jar of mini binder clips and they're green. I've seen people holding open their bullet journal spreads with these when they're like showing it on screen so that it's flat. So I thought it could be quite useful for them but also just for holding photos and things as well. I just really like them so yeah. But yes, that was my stationery haul slash art supplies haul. I will be drawing in my December spreads this evening, I think. But before I do that, I am actually going to tidy my bedroom because it's a mess and I don't like it being a mess. <laughs> so yeah, I shall see you on the other side. Oh, that reminds me of the Great Sherman. Don't you wanna get away from the safe? Oh, you get away? Anyway, I'm gonna go set my life out now. Bye! <laughs>
So I've decided not to do any reading today and I'm just setting up my bullet journal spreads for December instead. And so far all I've done is kind of collect and print out some photos that I might be using so here's a little sneak peek at what is to come. So I'm just about to cut these out and get some more inspiration out of Pinterest over there which is just glowing right now. But I do have, there we go, my Pinterest bullet journal board over there. So I'm going to drink that, cut out these images and start working on my bullet journal spreads. It's going to be one hell of a filming day tomorrow. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is now Tuesday at about half past five in the evening and I forgot to film anything which is not great but I've literally spent all of today like trying to get my bullet journal video filmed because this week is the only week that I'd be able to do it properly. Oscar's here so excuse his meowing. <laughs> Apparently today is a very video oriented day because I'm now currently editing a video, the one that's going to go up on Friday which I think is before this one so I will leave a link down below if you want to go and check that out. But I'm just going to spend my evening editing that and if I have time I'm going to read some more of Hard Times by Charles Dickens because I didn't manage to do any reading last night so that is my plan for today. Sorry it's not much vlog footage from today. I literally just have been painting and stuff all day which has its own separate video so one thing I will say though it is beyond cold hence why I'm in like a jumper and my dressing gown and in bed while I edit because the thought of sitting at my desk when this is cold is not a good one. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> This is what I have to try and work with when editing a video. My laptop is there to start editing, but um, this one is apparently taking priority. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is now Thursday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I woke up with a really bad headache and spent the entire day sleeping basically. I was asleep until about 4pm and my headache did go in the evening though so I did manage to get a few things done and obviously because I'd been asleep all day I stayed up later than I usually do. So I managed to edit my book haul which should be up next week I think and I also managed to create quite a few thumbnails. I think I made five different thumbnails which felt amazing because I find making thumbnails really difficult like I just don't like making thumbnails and I don't know if anyone's noticed but I have changed my thumbnail designs lately. I just got really lazy with how I made thumbnails so I'm making a lot more of an effort to create thumbnails that might actually attract people. <laughs> but yes, I'm really glad that I managed to edit my book haul and sort out some thumbnails. And I also managed to get some reading in because in the morning when I first woke up I managed to squeeze in this little book which you'll have seen earlier in the vlog I've just received and because it was so sure I thought I would just like get it out of the way and this honestly broke my heart because like I said earlier in the vlog it's about a fox who like loses its habitat and they're all struggling to survive because they don't have food. I already kind of knew what I was getting myself into but also there is a case in this of animal abuse and I wasn't expecting that at all and it could have made me cry because I just can't deal with anything to do with animal abuse really. Do you know like when people share the videos on Facebook of being like let's find this man and send him to jail because he's done this and then there's a video of like him doing something really awful to an animal. I just can't deal with it. So I kind of wish I had a warning about that but it did make the book more hard-hitting especially because it is such a small book. I found it really interesting because it's written in a very particular way. It says in the beginning that the fox has learned human language which in this case is English by listening to humans talk and that means that everything's spelled wrong basically. <laughs> I'll show you a picture of the first page because it does address that like immediately so you'll see what I mean in this clip that I'm going to show. It very much felt like I was reading a fox telling the story which was very strange because obviously I've never heard a fox speak before. <laughs> but again that did make it more hard-hitting because 
it was coming from the fox itself and not just humans being like, this is what's happening. I ended up writing this book 3.5 out of 5 stars because it was quite impressive like how much it moved me within such a short amount of time. And then I also managed to read 60 pages of Hard Times by Charles Dickens for university and that means I'm just over halfway through. I don't know if I've explained this before but I do split up my uni reads by with like post-it notes into much smaller sections so that I've got a certain amount to read every day and that to me makes it much more manageable. I do it with like big fantasy books as well. I split this into like 30 page stints so that every day I can read 30 pages and I'll have it finished by whatever day. Obviously I can read more than that and then end up being ahead of my own goals but yeah that's just it really helps me manage my reading. But anyway I am just over halfway through this and I don't really know what to think of it like no emotion is coming out of me. <laughs> I don't really have many thoughts on this book so far besides it being very repetitive and very agenda driven. But as for today I have quite a lot that I want to do today. I need to start looking at my upcoming essay. It's not in for a few weeks but I want to just get an idea of what I'm doing because I like being organised. <laughs> I also want to read some more of Hard Times, at least 30 pages but technically I could finish this today if I was like really on it. But I don't know if I will because I have quite a few things that I want to do today. I also want to catch up on my book summaries because in my notepad for university I write book summaries for every single book that I've read because when I'm reading so many books for university and with it being spread over a, not a long amount of time but you know details might become blurred so it's quite useful to have a summary to look back on but there's quite a few that I haven't done yet so while I've got this week off to catch up that's what I'm gonna catch up with. I also want to write a blog post because I accidentally took a break from blogging. I didn't even realise I'd done it until the other day. But I've never taken a break from blogging like in the three years that I've been blogging. So I definitely want to return to that and just be like, hi, I haven't vanished, I promise. And as well as that, I'm also going to be doing like smaller chores or smaller jobs because I need to do some washing, but that can be done like in the middle of everything. And I also need to write some notes on the books I've read so far this month because I didn't do it last month and my wrap-up ended up being just one big babble being like, I like this book. Ugh. But yeah, since I've got so much to do, I better crack on with it. <laughs> later in the day and I'm freezing hence why I've now got my dressing gown like over my jumper but yeah I did a bit of work I'm I mean not much because I just can't decide like what to do my essay about and it is panicking me slightly but I know I'll get it done so I've decided not to read any of hard times today I'm going to save that for tomorrow I think or Saturday because instead I want to try and read more of the British folk tales book that I've been reading for about a month solid now. I don't think I'll finish it tonight but I do want to get at least further through it so yeah I do still plan on writing a blog post later on probably after I've had some food which I'm going to do now because I am really quite hungry so I shall catch up with you either tonight or tomorrow. I have got Oscar in my lap but you can't see him but he is there. <laughs> It is now Friday and all words just left my head. <laughs> so I can't remember where I left the vlog last night but I ended up finishing Between Worlds by Kevin Crossley Holland which is the book of British and Irish folk tales and I am so thrilled because I did not expect to finish this but I decided to go and sit downstairs in the living room while I was reading this because when I'm sat in bed I just fall asleep so I don't tend to get much reading done so I thought to myself I'm gonna go and sit downstairs, curl up on the sofa and see if that will help me get through this book at all. 
And I finished it. I read like 150 pages to finish it, so apparently that plan worked, but yeah, I ended up writing this 3.5 stars. I do have quite a lot of thoughts on this, but I am writing a full review on my blog and I will also feature it in a wrap up at some point on my channel, so I'm not going to talk about it much, but it was quite good. As for my plans for today, I am currently about to write up the subtitles for tomorrow's video, which will have been my A Ramble Through Reality that I last uploaded, so I will link that down below if you're interested in going and watching it. So I need to write the subtitles for that, it's quite a long video, so it's gonna take me a while. And then I'm debating whether or not to go out for lunch because I haven't left this house in a few days and I'm starting to wonder if humans even exist anymore. <laughs> Through a combination of just like being ill and being busy, I've not left the house since Monday. It has been a few days of me just being sat by myself talking to a camera, which is fine. I just kind of want to make sure that human life is still out there, so. But once I've come back from lunch, I want to edit a video, which will be, I think, my collab that I did with Jess over at Red by Jess, which we filmed ages ago, and I've just had like so many videos already scheduled that it's still not being uploaded on my channel. But yeah, that is my plan for today. So I'm gonna go write some subtitles because it's gonna take me a good couple of hours at least. <laughs> about halfway through doing my subtitles but I am starving so I'm gonna go out and see if the human population exists and forage for food because apparently I now live in an apocalypse <laughs> but yeah I'm not gonna take the camera because I literally I'm just like popping in and out of town and then I will be back and I'm not gonna lie my main motivation for doing this is the fact that there's a costa in town there's quite a few costas in town but I can get one of their Christmas range drinks because I absolutely adore the orange and cream hot chocolates they do. It's incredible, so I'm gonna go and get one of those. So I just got home, can confirm human life still exists and I got the hot chocolate. It's so good. So it's now Saturday and I finally finished reading Hard Times by Charles Dickens. And I rated it two stars because I just didn't really feel anything towards it besides like frustration because it had the typical classic problem of like the main problem of the story being miscommunication because everyone speaks on everyone else's behalf rather than the main people just talking to each other and it really bothers me because it just goes on for way too long. <laughs> and it was just a very repetitive book. It was very bland I feel like. I don't know. I feel like there's gonna be people that like hate me for saying that about Charles Dickens but I I don't care it's my opinion <laughs> but yeah so that's basically all I've done so far today just powered through the last hundred pages of that book finally finished it and so for the rest of today I need to start editing this vlog and I also need to read Macbeth because there's always more uni reading to be done <laughs> So I think I am actually going to end this vlog here because tomorrow I'm just going to my aunt's house and I'll be staying overnight. I'm not taking my camera with me because children. I also just don't want to vlog someone else's life. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You did ask for more vlogs, so I am attempting to do that. I feel like I'm quite a boring person, so I don't know how interesting these vlogs will be, but if there's anything in particular that you want to see in my vlogs, then definitely let me know in the comments below because I will definitely try to sort that out. I will have specific study slash university vlogs at some point. I just need to figure out how to do them because I don't take my camera with me to university and I don't plan to take my camera to university, so... I think my study vlogs would be ones that I do at home and I do tend to do most of my work at home anyway so it would make more sense that way. Anyway I've rambled on enough in this video so I hope you're having a lovely day, I hope you know that you are incredible and I really appreciate you being here and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye! Oscar wanted one final bit of screen time. <laughs>